Congress passed reforms requiring kids be placed in homes more quickly. And Kawasaki points out that in Los Angeles, adoptions are up. But it's not clear that such reforms really make things better. Now there are reports of caseworkers breaking up families too fast. Sometimes reforms meant to fix yesterday's horrors create their own horrors. Still, when you consider that there are over 100,000 kids without families waiting to be loved, doesn't adoption sound like a good idea? It looked like the perfect match, a beautiful baby boy, and the couple who loved him. So why was he taken away? Racism. It's racism. Why would social workers who want to help kids resist getting them adopted? Well, often, the resistance centers around race. Most of the foster care kids available for adoption are black. Most of the parents waiting to adopt are white. Now, the social workers don't say race is the problem. After all, three years ago, it became illegal to consider race in adoptions. But many child care workers make it clear how they feel. Kids growing up need role models that they can almost see themselves as. But we're not talking ideal here. These kids are rotting in neglect. Let them be adopted by somebody different. But there's certain values and strengths that can only really be taught a lot of times by people who are, who are like you. father, no sister, no brother, miles, many hundreds of miles away from home, I have nobody, taken from home, 
stripped, haircut, beating, slapping, whipping, culture shock, running, 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 out of breath, have to get out of here, I am on foot, they have horses and cars, and they catch me, beating, slapping, whipping, culture shock, don't speak Indian, they stand there with cold eyes, holding a whip, my back sore, dripping with blood. Don't speak Indian, they tell me, as they force soap into my mouth. Then I begin to choke. The soap has gone down, caught in my throat, coughing, coughing, coughing. Out of breath, I have to get out of here. I never get a breath of fresh air. I am free. I can go home. They can't follow me on their horses. I leave no tracks. Their dogs can't track me. I leave no scent. Their fists, whips, and bats can't hurt me. I have no body. My spirit lives on forever. I wrote this poem after watching a documentary of boarding schools at Fort Lewis College. It is a combination of what I saw many Native children doing in this documentary, escaping from the boarding school, and it's a story about an uncle I have never met or known of. My mom said he choked on soap and died. I'm guessing at St. Andrews, or a boarding school on the Umatilla Reservation, for speaking Indian. I tried to research this story further, but Auntie Martha suggested otherwise. So I did not research it further. going to China and South America looking for children. Yeah, but they should come to the city. This is where we at. One result of the bias against transracial adoption is that kids like these have no family. Did any of you want to be adopted? Yeah. There are lots of white parents looking for kids. But the child welfare system discourages it. They really so do. what do you think about that? I think it's ridiculous. That's, that's if a white family wants to adopt a black kid and they're willing to open up their homes and their hearts, yeah, I don't see what the problem is. Love you. Love you.